And then I saw her face Hey guys, CYHD here, and I am back with another reaction video. But I would like to make this reaction video quick because me and my family are doing something really important today. Um, we're going on vacation to Pismo Beach. And yes, this video might be 90 minutes long, so I'm sorry if it's quicker, if it's really quick. And yes, this video is 7 minutes long because I'm going to be reacting to another MLP fanfic reading by the Lost Narrator called... The Cutie Mark Crusaders. And yes, it is a gl grim dark um, fanfic. And yes, if you guys remember about what happened in my last reaction video, which is The Silence by DeWilstonator, I am a real whisk cake when it comes to scary stuff. So, yeah. <sighs> Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, let me turn down the volume. Okay, good. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there was a town on the edge of the forest. The forest was something that all the town's inhabitants knew to avoid, but the town prospered regardless of the forest's dangers. In this town lived hundreds of all types of ponies, unicorn, pegasi, and earth ponies. The earth ponies and also tended to land. Well, the Pegasi see to the weather. The unicorns use their magical abilities to perform various tasks around the town, helping every pony they can. On the edge of the town, not far from the Everfree Forest, there was a farm. This farm was huge, consisting of nothing Sweet but apple, apple trees as far as That's the eye the could see. That's the barn that she's talking Living about right now. Living on the farm were two siblings, an earth pony brother and sister. And together they tended to the innumerable apple trees each year, providing high quality apples across the land. A fashionista lived near the center of town. She lived alone, okay, only see but that black. didn't bother her. It allowed her to focus on her beautiful you know, dresses and things. You know, what I looked at the thumbnail, I had to do with, um, Sweet Bells, Goo Loo, and Apple Bloom. Her name reaching as far as the farm's apples. And they were Above kind of the like town, possessed or something. Cadet. Her speed was unrivaled by even the ha, best flyers. She spent her time not working on the weather, but practicing and training for her future career. She dashed and zoomed, looped and weaved, and performed very complex maneuvers each day. Once she finished a set of exercises, she was met with silence. She often took a break in one of the trees. The silence allowed her to nap without interruption. Elsewhere in the town, there stood a schoolhouse. In the schoolhouse, there were many little fillies and colts. Some with cutie marks, some without. Their destinies without a cutie mark were often difficult. The pressures of finding one's destiny on top of a bully or two made adolescence intolerable at times. Every year, there were one or two fillies or colts that hadn't found their true talents as fast as the rest of the class had. Their supposed failures and constant bullying drove them to depression. But when the pain became too much, they found three little fillies who just wanted to have fun together on their quest to find their cutie marks. The filly or cult instantly oh, comes the picture. them, and together they went on adventures to try and find And yes, this was marks. the picture on the thumbnail. Their depression waned, as each <sighs> day was filled with joy. The bullies had no effect, as nothing can ruin the happiness of playing with friends each day. And so, the school year would go on. One filly or cult, remaining a blank flank far longer than thought possible. Normally in other places, this would be of no concern, as the foal would be considered a late bloomer and would find their talent just like the rest of them. But this town was far from normal. Each year, on the very first day of summer vacation, that filly or cult would go out to play with his or her new friends. They would wander town looking for their friends for hours unable to find them saddened by the disappearance yeah this is how they looked when i looked at the thumbnail they looked like they were possessed apple trees never to be heard from again but every pony who lived in the town for several years knew exactly where that filly or cult went he or she would be joined by their friends playing amongst the trees of sweet apple acres and then at the start of the new year 
the cycle would begin anew. Another filly or colt would find three fillies to befriend, and together they would go on grand adventures. And at the end of each year, on the first day of summer, <sighs> they too would disappear within the farm of trees. And each year, the town would search, hoping the cycle would be broken, but finding everything the same as the previous year. The parents would grieve for their loss, often taking their own lives in the process. Those who lived would try to warn others, but their warnings would fall on deaf ears, assuming to be nothing more than a story to scare fillies or colts into behaving. But by the end of the next year, those that were warned quickly realized the truth of those warnings first hoof. Again, a search would be had. Again, the look on Sweetabelle's face! The same. But no matter how many it looked like the she's being repeated, controlled by Chrysalis. No pony dared to be the first to check the center oh, of the farm. God. Near sunset on the second day, the search parties would converge in the center, most knowing all too Wait. well what awaited them. Well, the filly or colt that had gone missing would be found, curled up on the ground. It in seems they look like they're in the Everfree Forest. They were just Do all the sisters make a search party to find them? Knew better. And then found them possessed? They would only need about to, to kill the them? Red and gold cape tied loosely around the not, I don't know what it, as I don't want to know the what this is about anyway. Grief, rushing forward to embrace their loved one as the others looked away, unable to bear witness to these events. Cries of joy quickly turned to sorrow and rage. Their little one unresponsive to their touch, and cold as the stone in their hooves. The town's inhabitants would walk away, eyes dry, as they had seen this enough to know what had happened, many having gone through it themselves. Then, throughout the summer, the fields of trees would be filled with laughter, a brother and sister focusing on their work, in an effort to ignore the pain that accompanied the giggles of four foals. Every night that summer, the siblings on the farm, the fashionista, and the Wonderbolt cadet would return to the spot where so many fillies and colts had lost their lives, paying homage to them and the ones responsible for their deaths, begging for an end to a curse plaguing their town. For the center of the vast fields of apples laid the remains of a burnt down treehouse. In front of the treehouse was a single slab of vertical stone with a simple reading. Here lies Apple Bloom, Sweetie Bell, and Scootaloo. Three fillies whose lives were taken too soon, their destinies taken away before they were found. May you find eternal happiness. Did they all see die in this? See. Okay. Very special thanks to Barrix123. Did you watch as I dance? <laughs> the trees are screaming. You know, the, I gotta say that that epic wasn't even all that scary. I mean, I mean, it wasn't like the others that I reacted to the other day, which is the endless and the silence one. You know, these are kind of like the, like the creepypasta readings, you know, like the Mr. Mix and the ones about Disney and the one about Barney. Yeah, of course, there are creepypasta readers who read like those type of stories, you know, like the Creepy Rob, uh, Creepy McPasta, and I think Lost Narrator, I think she did a couple of creepypasta readings, but, but not really a lot of them. I don't know. But anyways, um, I've been thinking about doing my own uh, creepypasta readings, but basically on my backup channel, because if I ever get a copyright strike on this, I, then I'll lose all that work. I don't want to risk losing all that. Anyways, um, I'm getting it off here because I gotta keep packing my stuff. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and ahoy!